Tomorrow's inauguration marks several historic firsts for Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. She's the first woman, black woman, and Indian American person to hold the office. Harris is also the first VP from a black sorority and a historically black college or university. Larry Sproul spoke to members of the sorority about the occasion. For years, members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated have been leading by example and setting the standard. This week, one of their members will be doing just that. She will be sworn in into one of the highest positions in our country. We are beaming with excitement, with pride. Carrie J. Clark, the Great Lakes Regional Director of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, says that pride is for good reason. One of their members will become the next vice president of the United States. To ascend to the second highest position as a woman, as a woman of color, and oh, by the way, as a woman of Alpha Kappa Alpha, I mean, what, what else can we ask for? Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will be sworn in Wednesday at the inauguration in Washington, D.C. Clark says this is a huge honor, but not just for their organization. I think that for generations to come, the young girls, the young girls are coming up and they're seeing this. This is their new norm, right? For us, it's something that we've been fighting for for years. Vice President-elect Harris is not just a member of the first black Greek letter sorority, but she also joined at their Alpha chapter at Houchin University or HBCU. It's just a tremendous amount of pride. You know, we all go to Howard because of the illustrious history. Dr. Courtney Townsend was a graduate of Howard. Seeing um, Kamala Harris, you know, become the vice president is not just, you know, Howard history or black history, it's American history. History that will also include six HBCUs marching bands. They will participate in the We Are One virtual portion of the pre-inauguration on Tuesday. I'm just waiting for the beat to drop. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting on. Reporting in Detroit, Larry Sproul, Local 4.